Well, good morning. We are heading out to Varn Park. I just got my cart loaded up. While we're here, I'm gonna to talk to you about all of the things that you need for surf fishing. If you're a beginner and you're just starting out and you wanna learn, I can't go real deep into it, but I'm gonna show you the basics of what you need. I'm gonna turn you around. We're gonna get this party started. There we are. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, I just got a big, big hit on this rod. Oh, that's a pretty good whiting. Nice. Okay, this one's getting pulled. This one has the whiting head. Wanna make sure we don't miss it. I'm backing up though, because I want this fish, whatever. Oh, it's a shark. So let's talk about what you need for surf fishing. Uh, what you need, basics. Obviously, you're gonna need a rod and reel. Something that's at least nine foot if you're gonna do surf fishing. Uh, seriously, my first rod that I got was actually eight foot from, I went to Bass Pro, I told them I wanna fish on the beach. They got me an eight foot rod, <laughs> go figure. Um, but it was a Penn Battle three that got me started. But you don't have to even spend that much money. I'm always referring people to the, the Berkley Fusion at Walmart, it's 35 bucks. It's a great little surf fishing rod. It's this one right here. I've been catching fish on it this t today already. You'll need a cooler if you're gonna wanna keep fish. So I found this at a yard sale for like five bucks. Uh, I was using ice all the time. Uh, I found it easier to just use a freeze pack, a cold pack. You put it in there, it's a lot less mess. Some people just really rather do the ice up to you. Just have something, if you're going to keep fish, have something to keep it cold. You're not going to need a big cart like this right at first, especially if you're only starting out with one rod, one sand spike. That's something else you need. You need a sand spike if you don't want to hold your rod the whole time. You're going to want to have live bait when you come to the beach, so get yourself a bait bucket. I didn't bring my bubbler with me today because I knew I wasn't going to need it. So you also want some rigs, basic pompano rigs or double drop rigs with uh, one aught or two aught circle hooks. For your line on your on your poles, if it's not already pre-spooled, I would use for the for the ocean or for the pier, you're gonna wanna use a high visibility line. I love the high visibility, about 20 pound, 15 or 20 pound. It will let you get more distance when you're casting. If you're going for larger fish that might have some teeth, you might wanna go up to 25 pound. You wanna have a towel, a hand towel out with you. There's been plenty of times where I forgot my hand towel. And uh, yeah, I use a, <laughs> end up using my shorts. You want a pair of scissors. Always have, even if you can't have a fillet knife, because everything I needed to do. But as you can see, I've done some cut bait, so I did need a fillet knife to cut this cut bait up. You want pliers. You don't want these pliers. I bought these by accident. They're supposed to be needle nose. For times when you can't get to the bait shop, you're gonna want to have um, some fish bites. Here's the new uh, purple clam. I've been using this stuff. The blue crab, the sand flea. They've got literally like so many different flavors and fish are picky. So get a bunch of them because you don't know what day, which, what, what ones are gonna be working. Another thing you want is a bleeding bucket. I've got to bleed out this <laughs> whiting I just caught, but get some you know, five gallon bucket that will help you be able to bleed out your fish before you put it in your cooler. That's always going to be the best way to do it. So for all your stuff, you're going to want a tackle bag or a tackle box or something to take with you. Um, some people just throw it in their five gallon bucket, but then you have to dump your whole five gallon bucket into your cart. <laughs> when it's time to bleed out a fish. You'll also need swivels. Um, you need barrel swivels. You'll also need this kind of swivel here is what I put on the end of my main line. And then I attach my rigs to them. You can switch your rigs out really quickly. Another thing you're gonna need is uh, sinkers. So these are Sputnik sinkers. I get them from the sinker guy. Uh, I've tried some other sinkers from different people and these just work the best for me. I forgot and I'm getting hit. Really important though, sunscreen. If you're gonna be out on the beach, you need sunscreen. You need hydration fluids. So I hope that's been helpful. You can check out my website, fishing-girl.com. Check out the charters tab if you're gonna be in this area and you wanna try doing a charter. 
But every weekend we got festivals. We've got like six more festivals to go. I'll put in the description all the different locations for the festivals we're gonna be at next. If you're in the area of one of the festivals, go ahead and stop by our Fishing Girl tent. You can't miss it. Thanks so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, you're awesome. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Why not? What are you waiting for? And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see ya.